There isn't a dentist in the world, and I don't care if you're on Long Island, I don't care if you're in the Bronx, I don't care if you're in Manhattan, I don't care if you're in North Jersey, I don't care if you're in California. There isn't a dentist in the world that has to work past five o'clock. That's a belief I hold. That's a story I tell myself, and that's a story a lot of the dentists that I work with tell, them, tell themselves that. There isn't a dentist in the world that has to work past five o'clock, okay? If you think you have to work past five o'clock, my guess is that you haven't given your patients a good enough reason to come in in those hours before five o'clock. Now that's just a fundamental, but you don't have to agree with me. That's just my belief and it's my observation. I don't have any dentist that I work with over a period of two years that beyond the two years they work past five o'clock. They just don't they, and they realize that they can't. There's so much good stuff that happens after five o'clock. That's where it's our period of destiny. You know, Joseph Campbell said that there's three eight-hour segments of our day. There's an eight-hour segment where we sleep, there's an eight-hour segment in which we work, and then there's an eight-hour segment, and he called that the period of destiny. That's everything that will ever be remembered about you. It's the conversations you had with your kids, it's the soccer game that you coached, it's the dinner you went to with your wife. That stuff is so critical, but somehow we think we're important, or the practice is stressful. That's why we gotta be clear about this. If you're seeing patients after five o'clock, chances are you haven't given them a good enough reason to come in before five o'clock, okay? Same thing with Saturdays. I don't think there's a dentist in the world that has to work on Saturdays. I wouldn't work Saturdays for all the, you know what's cool stuff happens? Yeah, we're overloaded with soccer games and all that kind of stuff, but it's great. There's so much magic that happens in Saturdays. If you're having a problem with changing your hours, try this, try this. If you have little kids, take a picture of your kids and put it up in each operatory. And when you tell your patients, say to your patients, say this, we no longer have evening hours and that's the reason why. Everyone will get it. They'll get it. They will get it. And if they don't get it, I question whether or not that's somebody you want to help in your practice. Charlie Verapapa, a dentist in Alexandria, Virginia did this in his practice, he rounded up all the kids from all of his team members and he put them on the front steps of his practice. And then he stepped back and he took a picture of all these little kids. And he said, hello, he sent out a postcard to all of his patients and said, hello patients, we will no longer be having evening hours and be working Saturdays and this is the reason why. We look forward to seeing you at your next appointment. People brought that in and they go, this is so cool. They get it. They get it. So we gotta give people a good reason. We gotta become visible. If your new patient process is invisible, you're gonna have an impossible time trying to convince people to come in, okay? When you undervalue what you do, if you say to me, it's just dentistry, you know what I mean? They, people don't wanna to go to the dentist. When you undervalue what you do, people will undervalue who you are. They will say you're just the dentist. 